There's me. one thing you got wrong. So it's your birthday next week, right? Yeah. It will have been just before this show. <laughs> and there's one big mistake you made in your. Career. I know already what you will say. What am I going to say? Because I, I didn't go to Arsenal. Yes. <laughs> you see, so first I of predict all, future. First of all, tell me why you didn't join Arsenal when you were 17. So when I was young, I had a lot of interest from a lot of clubs, and one of them was Arsenal. So I came to the office of uh, Mr. Arsene Wenger, and was was big hype because I saw these players: Bergkamp, Henri. I saw Jungberg, I saw Vieira, I saw all these players and I was like, this is, this is big because these players I see in TV, even if I already played in high level Sweden, but this was big because this was like, I am here now. Last week I was playing PlayStation with these guys and I spoke with Wenger and he has this French, he, he, was, he was tall, I didn't expect him to be so tall. I come in his office and we speak and yeah, and, and he was like, what do you want? He wanted to get to know me, to feel me, because I think he is a type of person, he just don't buy the player. He wants to know what he's buying, I think. And yeah, and then in the end, he had an Arsenal shirt with number nine, and uh, he want you to come and do a trial for two weeks. And from all this, everything was good until, until he said, you come and do a trial. And I was looking at him. Obviously, he's Wenger, I'm nobody in that moment. He said, I don't do trials. <laughs> and he was like, what do you mean? I don't do trials. Either you want me or you don't want me. Or else, well, why am I here? Like, that was my... But it was not to play a game. It was me. Mm. No, but you have to come and do a trial and that... No, no, you don't understand. I don't do trials. <laughs> and that was it. I didn't... I never went to Arsenal. Well, and then I, yeah. this story breaks my heart, right? Because you would have been fantastic at Thank Arsenal. you. You are exactly the kind of striker we need right now. Actually. I can tell you, we would win a lot of trophies. Yes. I'm 100% sure. We would have won even more trophies. <laughs> but I also know, I can tell from your face, it's a big regret of yours. Okay. You wish if you had your time again. <laughs> so this is your birthday present. Okay. Zlatan. Thank you. It is uh, Ibrahimovic. Wow. Nice. Number 11. Thank it looks you. good. Looks sharp. I think it's your size. And you know what? It's never too late. You can come out of retirement. Thank you. Slip it on. Looks good, Thank right? Thank you. <laughs> When you see the, the top strikers of today, yeah. Erling Haaland, yeah. Kylian Mbappe, what, what do you think of those guys? I think they're both amazing. I think Haaland is very intelligent in the way he's playing. He doesn't touch the ball more than he needs to. I see he has this killer instinct. Even if he has a hat trick, he still wants to score the fourth goal, fifth goal. And I think he's in the perfect environment. And. Uh, is there more to do for him? I don't know. What is more for him to do? If you say to him to get better, what is that? From three goals to six goals? Yeah. From six to nine? So easy, maximum out of what it is because what you expect from him is goals. Yeah. So if you don't get goals, you will say he didn't have a good day. Mbappe is more of a complete player. He can do more things than Haaland. He can do the unexpected, he will do things that you will react, wow. He reminds of Ronaldo the Phenomenal, the yeah. Brazilian. And he would do things that other ones cannot do. Can he get better? Yes, he can get much better. Much, much better. So he just needs to focus on football. That's the only thing he needs to do. But I noticed it was not about me performing anymore. It was, I think, my opinion, he felt offended for me saying to him, yeah. I needed more space in the way I wanted to, to play, it's punishing. which is OK, yeah. which is OK. He's the coach, bad results, he leaves, player stays. And I respect that. But be open to me, mm. be direct to me so we understand each other. Fourth game bench and then I started to make noise because it's not OK for me anymore. Now I'm on the bench and I have on the, I'm on the bench because of a situation I created, not by my own uh, how do you say, by my own choice, mm. because of the people above him, because for them I was a big investment. And the uh, fourth game, I bring my Ferrari, and I bring the Enzo Ferrari, and I knew it would create another situation. So I parked the car in front of his office. So you with me, I with you. That was my motto. You parked now. it in front of his office? In front of his office, <laughs> I said, this is, you want to play with fire, I will bring you fire, but I will burn you. Obviously, he's the coach because 
what punish most the players, player if he doesn't play, mm -hmm. because obviously you want to play, but the boss is the coach. But in that moment, I understood this will not be okay because there is How something. How did he re react to you parking your Ferrari outside? <laughs> he would not say nothing to me because he would avoid me. Underperforming? I think with the new coach, the new coach came from where? He was at Ajax. I was in Ajax also. Ajax is a talented club. Mm. They have the best talents in the club. They don't have big stars. Mm. What is the experience of this coach? Mm. Young talents. He comes to United. United is different mentality, different players. Mm. So the players there are supposed to be big stars. So I think with his experience being there, I don't know if it talks for him or not. Because he, I think he's in a different situation. And then above him, there is a gap where he doesn't get the help to manage the team. Listen, this is what I read in the paper. Yeah. So it's not that I have all the situation that ha that is happening. But I can just imagine him coming from Ajax to, to United is a big difference mm. because I've been in both clubs. You manage talents, upgrowing, is different kind of approach because there you have a different kind of discipline. You come to United, you, you do the same thing. I don't know, I don't believe, and I don't think it's the same treatment you give. I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo, when he gave the interview to me when he left United, he said that he felt he didn't have the respect of Eric Ten Hag. You see with Jadon Sancho now a similar situation, Ten Hag criticizing him in public and so on. Maybe that is an illustration of his, of his problems in managing big talent. But I don't, I don't say it's the coach's fault mm. because experience you cannot buy. Mm. You just have to get time to get the experience. But it's two different situations, being in Ajax, being in United. Then if it's his fault, I don't think, because I think everybody has a responsible in the whole situation. We are a piece of puzzle from the big puzzle. Mm. So everybody have uh, a responsibility to do and to, to fulfill the, the, the demands. United has to win. Mm. They, they, they have to win every title they play for. Now they're being dominating by the neighbors mm. and uh, and it's a totally different situation there. And uh, you need to find the right path again and to, to push for that. Now it's, I think it's, you need a plan, you need yeah. a project to follow. And it feels like you follow a project plan and then it goes wild in a moment because of the results. Either you believe in it or you don't believe in it. So, but with the thing, situation of the coach, I think, He's living two different situations mm. now. Then obviously what happened with Sancho and, and Cristiano, I don't know because... Is he, do you think he's out of his depth a bit, Ten Hag? I think he needs more time to get the experience, mm. how to handle a team. But you don't really that, get time at a club like no, United. No, obviously right? not, because we need to win. That's the reality. You come to my... When I was in Milan, I cannot give you time to, to develop, to... to to perform, you need mm. to perform straight because, like I said, survival mode. Mm. It's you or another one. Because United is in a situation you don't do good enough, the next day there is another one, mm. and the result speaks for itself. So that's why the, the, it's tricky. But how much time do you give a coach? I don't know. Depends of the owners what they want. Mm. But if you listen to the fans, you don't have a lot of time because no. they want to win. Absolutely. And I understand them because they're used to win, and they want to still win. So, I think it's a lot of things. The small details often makes the difference. It's not the, the, the whole, the big pictures you see, because when things are good, there are, there are still errors mm -hmm. and problems, but you don't see it because we are winning. But I think now in United, I don't know, there's some kind of, how do you say, demonstrations about the owners mm -hmm. to sell it and that. But just a reminder, the owners are, are investing. It's not like they're not investing mm -hmm. because they, they brought in many players for a high amount of money. So us, I think it's, it's a little bit wrong saying that they're not doing what the fans expect them to do. When it comes to money, I always they, that, that was a joke that I was oh, saying. No. <laughs> because when I say money is not important, people would always say, no, no, money is not important. Mm -hmm. Then I would say a lot of money is important. <laughs> because me and Mino, always when we do things, a lot of money is important. So it was more not to have the money. It was more a trigger thing, mm. a challenge, because 
obviously you have a successful company, you don't want to sell it low, you want to sell it maximum as possible, but not maybe not to survive or to have it, just for the challenge, because you create something and then you get a big jackpot by selling it high. And I agree with you, money creates problems, even in families, mm. money brings stress, the more you have, the more stress, and, and where is the stop? You could live a good life with normal money, but what is normal money now? I've been on the both sides. Mm. I've been without money, grew up with a family where my father made 1,000 euro in pound, I don't know how much it is, and still we had a good, at that thousand moment. 1,000 euro over what period? Monthly. 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 1,000. Then you pay bills and that, I don't know how much mm. is left. And, uh, and we have to share it, not share it, it was his, he gave me whenever I needed. And, uh, but I had a good life. Mm. I had it good at that moment. So were you happy? Where then? is the stop? Were you happier then? But or? what is happiness? Well, you tell me. It's moments. I'm happy now. In ten minutes, I could be unhappy. Mm. So it's moments. Uh, money makes it easier, mm. makes your life easier, but I don't think it gives you happiness because for me, happiness is moments. Mm. You're happy with one situation now. My dream was come to Barcelona. After one year, was my nightmare. Yeah. So, it's moments, but. I agree with you. I think when it comes to having a lot of money, it's an ego thing because your life would not change. Let's say the Saudi situation now. A player that made a lot of money goes there to make even crazy more money. Does it change your life? Because I will tell you, you will die before you waste your money you already earned than the money you get in Saudi. So it will not make a difference. But you must have had a big offer to go to Saudi. I had an offer also from China. Mm. I had an offer also from, uh, from, uh, from Saudi, but the situation is, what do you want? What is your, what objectives do you have? I said before we started, like, certain players need to finish his career in big stage, mm. because that is like the high end of your career, because you have to be remembered for your talent, not for what you earned. Because if you be remembered in opposite way, what we are training every day for, what we are being recognized for, is our talent. And that's what you want to be remembered for. So I think certain players that reach a certain level, they have to stop in a certain stage. And that's the big stage. You cannot go in a lower stage and, and finish your career in a different way. But some players need it. The, the situations where you can earn a lot of money because they didn't earn enough. How much have you turned down to play in Saudi? I mean, in Saudi, no, I had a bigger offer in China. I had a hundred million offer in China. Mm. But I, and I went to America mm. because I got injured and the situation changed. But I turned it down before I went there because it's not what I wanted. Mm. And I would, instead of getting a lot of money straight, I would, I would challenge myself to arrive there by different, different ways of coming to there. Mm. But the challenge to get it, not because I need it or because I want it. Would you have any moral problem in playing in Saudi Arabia? No, no, I would, no, absolutely not. I mean, you have the golf situation now. They, they came together and they made it, made it one. So I'm just sorry for the players that didn't go before because they didn't get the money that the players got it. So. No, the football, listen, wherever you play football, it's football. Mm. Football connects people. Like, it's a dream we share, both of us. You're a fan, you were not a professional. You're an Arsenal fan, and I feel sorry for you a little <laughs> bit. But as a professional football player, as long as you play football, and, and Saudi is growing, mm. MLS is growing. Mm. I mean, China had a peak, and then, I don't know, the situation changed there. But a moral thing, no, no, we are still, I mean, we do things for ourselves and our, our family. Who would judge you in five, 10 years when you have a healthy, wealthy, healthy life and have a good life? Because I don't think nothing is for free. You don't work for free. I don't work for free. I don't need money, but I'm very expensive. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.